Hey, 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 all right, everybody, how's it going? Now, here we have two angry bikes. On this side, the Engine X, and on this side, the EP2 Pro. Now, let's compare the two of them. Let's have a look at the hidden features on the display. And also, are these cable-operated brakes good enough for e-bikes? Let's find out. Okay, so sitting on this Engine X, feels just the same as sitting on the EP2 Pro. And the reason why they feel so similar is from this point forward, from this hinge here, forward is exactly the same. This part here and this part here, same front wheel, same fork, same handlebars, same cockpit area on both of them. Right up to this hinge is exactly the same on both of these bikes. Right, okay, when you get to the back, that's where the differences start to happen. So this one here is a hardtail, the EP2 Pro is a hardtail, and the Engine X has got rear suspension. The carrying rack on this one is made of steel and is thin metal. This one on the back of here is made of aluminium, and this is attached to the, the rear sort of frame uh, suspension part. Um, the brakes are exactly the same front and rear, so that they've got exactly the same disc brakes front and rear on this bike and this bike. Uh, the wheels look identical to me, even the casing for the rear hub looks identical to me, except for one thing. So come here, get a little bit closer, come on, come here, come here, have a look at this. So if we come in close and look at the engine X and look at the motor down here, and if we have a look here, it says 48 volts and it says 250 watts and then there's a serial number. And then if we look at the other one, this one now says 48 volts and it says 750 watts and then there's a serial number. But if you look at this hub motor and the wheel, this looks identical to that one over there. It measures the same distance across there. It looks the same width to me. It's got the same seven speed gears on the back and the wheel and the spokes look identical to me. So that motor looks very much like that motor. Okay, so even though the hub motors look identical to me, the size looks the same, the width, the circumference, they both look the same wheel and the motor housing looks exactly the same. This one is sold as a 250 watt legalised uh, e-bike in the UK that goes 15.5 miles per hour. And I, I got a feeling, I can't remember, but I think the throttle might be disabled as well, this uh, half throttle. Whereas this one is sold as 750 watts with a half throttle and this one was limited and speed as well but you can unlimit this uh, you can take the speed limit off this one and this one so even though the motors look the same this one sold as 250 watts this one sold as 750 watts and the controllers are in the back bit here and there they might be different i haven't looked i haven't taken it apart but this one is sold as a legally bike this one is sold as sort of an off-road bike but you wouldn't get stopped by the police anyway. Because if you're pedaling along, the police wouldn't say, oh, hey, look, he's on a powerful e-bike, because it's not that powerful anyway. Even 750 watts is not that powerful. So that's the difference between this one and that one, even though the wheels look very, very similar, or even the same. So I think what we should do next is a speed test, because everybody likes a speed test. So we're gonna pit this one, against the other one. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do now is a couple of little things. I'm gonna enable this throttle and I'm gonna change the 25 kilometers an hour speed limit to unlimited. I think it goes up to 60 kilometers an hour. It won't do that much. I'll show you anyway. I'll bring you in with the camera. We can have a look at how I enable this or disable it, whichever way you wanna do. Um, and I'll show you how you can make the speed limit change on the display. So let's have a quick look, because we're going to do a speed test. <laughs> okay, it might be hard to see because the sun is shining. I can't block the sun. But anyway, right, this at the moment, let me just show you. I'll turn this on here and wait for the boot up. It's on zero. If I put it on, just say five, for instance, and I twist our throttle, nothing's happening at all. So let's put it back to zero. Let's turn that off there. And let's just go through the buttons a second. Obviously that's plus and minus. That's off and on. This bottom button on this side, which you can't see, is the light. And the top one here is an eye button, which does lots of different things. But anyway, 
What I'm going to do now, I'm going to grab this left brake like this, and I'm going to hold this throttle and turn it full, and I'm going to turn, I'm going to press the power button till the screen comes on, and I'm going to leave go, and that's going to flash, and it says error 22. It's not an error, it's changing the software, and I'll leave that for eight seconds. It says about eight seconds on the, the manual, and I haven't been counting eight seconds because I've been talking. <laughs> but anyway, I think that's about eight seconds. So if I leave go over now, shutting like that, right? <laughs> the display comes up. I don't know if you can see that there. The display is on as normal. So I'll turn it off like so. I'll turn it back on like that. Now it's back on again. If I press like that now, I'm going to have to lift the back of the bike up and you should be able to hear... I don't know if you can hear that there, but the wheel is going around now. Okay, so that's how you, it, and if you want to disable it, you do exactly the same thing again. So it's, it works both ways. So if I did that, that, and that again, it disable it. If I did that, that, and again, it enable it. You know what I mean. Anyway, so that's the first thing we've got to do. Now the second thing, I'll try and get the camera in, looking at this display a little bit better, and we'll show you what the second thing is. Right, okay, so the second thing i got to do is, first of all, turn on the display, okay? Now the display is on, uh, I'll hold the minus and the plus button together at the same time, like that, and it'll take you into this menu. Now this menu isn't the menu ne you need, but this menu is for, uh, number one is trip computer, number two is backlight, and number three, UN, that's to change it from kilometres to miles per hour. But we don't need that menu. We need another menu. So what I'm going to do now is hold the minus and the I button, like so. And now we're in that menu. This is the tyre size. You can change the tyre size. Or if I press plus, you can change the speed limit. Look, okay, so that's the limit on the speed, right? So if I just tap the I button, that means we're in the speed limit now, right? Okay, so I'm going to go all the way to the max. And I'll go right the way up, I'll keep going until it stops. And it'll stop at 60 kilometers an hour, okay? Now the bike will not do 60 kilometers an hour, and that's just where it stops, okay? And if I press that again, that'll bring me out. But that is actually, if I hold that one there now and then again now, like that, that'll bring me out and we should be set to maximum speed. So that's the two things we need to do. The throttle on that one is set to maximum, uh, to, to work, and we're on maximum speed and I'll make sure the settings are exactly the same on the EP2 Pro. So this is the en Engine X, settings are all set. Let's do a speed test, <laughs> Right, okay then, here we go. We'll go round the roundabout, and we'll come back down this road, and that should give us a nice good speed test. So here we go, round the roundabout, full power. <laughs> we just get past this speed bump, get past this speed bump. And then I can get past the other ones then. Here we go then, full power. Right, what have we got? 18, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 27. And then the speed bump. Oh, right, that's that one, that's the engine X. So let's go and get the other bike. <laughs> Right, okay then, we're going to do exactly the same test again. This is the EP2 Pro, round the roundabout and back around and then see if we, how fast we can get before we get to that um, last speed bump. So around the roundabout we go. Luckily there's no cars coming. Around here. We're on full power, so um, once we get past this speed bump here and then we go full throttle. Here we go then, full throttle. Look down, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25. I gotta get past this skinny bump by a minute, 26. 27, 26, 27, there we go. Oh, so there you go then. So this bike here and this bike here go exactly the same speed. So the engine X will go almost 27 miles an hour with me on it, and that will go 20, almost 20, well, both went 27 miles an hour basically, um, exactly the same when this one is unlocked and the throttle is enabled. Now, 
disclaimer, because I've got to put a disclaimer in. If you enable the throttle on the Engine X and you put it to full speed, um, it is limited to 25 kilometers. When this comes to your door and you open it up, it's limited to 25 kilometers or 15.5 miles per hour and the throttle is disabled. So if you mess with it, it's up to you, okay? <laughs> if you want to mess with it or not, it's entirely up to you. I'm just doing it for scientific purposes. <laughs> so, right then, so we established that this one and this one will go exactly the same speed. The batteries is the same size. The only difference is this one over here is this price, and this one here is this price. And you do get the nice back suspension as well. So, and I gotta say, I like I both I like both bikes. They're both comfortable because they've got the big thick tyres. They're comfy, nice and spongy, and the seats. Seats are nice and comfy. Now, I gotta move on to something else. Somebody in the comment section said they bought one of these and they said cable brakes are not good enough. It should have uh, hydraulic brakes. Now, if you pay more for, the, for some of the more expensive ones, they will have hydraulic brakes. Obviously, hydraulic brakes cost more, so the price of the bike has gotta be higher, okay? So, anyway, but they said these cable brakes are not good enough. Now, I'll show you a little quick, tiny, easy thing you can do just to make these brakes a little bit better. And I do think they're adequate anyway. They will stop you. Uh, I, you know, I think they're okay. But anyway, let's have a look at this little tip I'm gonna give you. Okay then, for this next section of the video, I've decided to sit down, because why not? <laughs> anyway, now, brakes. These have got cable brakes. I got my pointing stick, because I can't reach over there. It's too much work for me. <laughs> so, these have got cable brakes on the Engine X and the EP2 Pro. So, on the front, usually they have 160 millimeter brake discs and they have cable operated brakes there, okay? Now, like I said, somebody wrote to me, I think actually two people have wrote to me and said that they'd prefer if these brakes were hydraulic. And I mean, wouldn't we all? But, you know, it comes at a price point, doesn't it? These bikes are quite cheap for what they are. Uh, so, you know, putting brake discs, uh, let hydraulic brakes on it would put the price up. But anyway, a simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy way to make your brakes a little bit better, and it costs under 20 pound, is to change the front brake disc to a 203 millimeter brake disc. And I don't know if you can see there, just in there, is a, a Shimano 203 millimeter brake spacer. Um, I'll, I'll, put, I'll put the link in the description for the spacer and the 200 millimeter discs. You can buy anyway, you can buy them anyway. Um, they don't have eight pound, eight or nine pound. And the, uh, the spacer there, that's about nine pound as well, I think it is. So I paid less than 20 pound to put a 203 millimeter disc on the front of there. And it does make you stop better. And there's also a few extra few things you can do. You can make sure that that, is, that cable is tight there so you can adjust it. And on the back of the, this caliper here, and the back one, the, the inside pad, I don't know if you know this, but the inside pad, you can screw it in a little bit tighter. Uh, you can adjust it so these will stop. I mean, this, that bites quite quickly on that one. And that one's not, not adjusted as well. So this one's adjusted better than that one. So if you adjust them well, they will stop you well. So that's my little tip about the brakes, <laughs> which cost less than 20 pound. So there you go. So if you want to stop well, big discs, keep the same brakes or spend more and buy hydraulic brakes. But remember the hydraulic brakes would have to have the, uh, like the electric switchy button thing to, for the headlights, brake light, not the headlights, the brake light and to cut off the motor. But anyway, there we go. Okay then, so there you go. I've tested both these bikes and on my channel, if you look, I got an angry playlist and you can see I've tested this bike and I've changed the handlebars on this bike. So I've done this, I've tried the BMX modification on this bike. I've tested this bike out as well. There's another video on that one. There's a couple of videos on this one. So if you wanna go back and look at the channel and look at the videos on this, you can see that. And you can see that um, they're both nice bikes. I like them both. And there's, there's only 200 pound difference between this one and that one. This one is 200 pound more. So if you really need rear suspension, go for this one. If you prefer a hardtail, go for that one, isn't it? 
and save a bit of money. But they are both nice bikes, they're both comfortable bikes, and you can see, if you unlock them, they're, they're very, very similar. So, that's my sort of, my, my findings and my, you know, scientific speed test. <laughs> and like I said, I do find the brakes okay. I find them okay. Adequate would be the right word to use. They're not brilliant, but they're not bad at all, okay? And if you adjust them properly and do, like I said, the modification, then it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It should stop anybody. But anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Ho-ho! <laughs>